2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 commands us to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Welcome to the battle. Jesus is Lord not just of our hearts, but also of our minds. We need to be thinking God's thoughts after Him. God's Word is faithful and true. Revelation 21.5, And he who is seated on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write this down, for these words are faithful and true. They are faithful and true. They are light-giving. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. His words are life giving words, for we are born again by the word of God that lives and lasts forever. They are life-changing words. They give us instruction, conviction, correction, and direction in life. And they are life-liberating words. Jesus said in John eight thirty two, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. His words set us free from sin and death, from the darkness of the devil's deceptions. It brings us into the freedom of truth and grace. John 17, Jesus prayed, I have manifested your name, Father, to the people whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you've given me is from you, for I have given them the words that you gave to me, and they have received them and have come to know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am praying for them. You see, it is the word of God that Christ brought to us. He is the living word, the word incarnate, for the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the words that he spoke to us are the words that the Father gave to him, and they are life-liberating words. Jesus went on to pray, But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I've given them your word. And the world has hated them because they're not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. For they're not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in the truth. You see, the Word of God gives us faith, for it is the origin of our faith. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. These things, Jesus said, I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves for I've given them your word. And then he prays that the Father would sanctify us in the truth. Your word is truth, sanctified. That is, completely set apart from the world. For Jesus just said, they're not of the world, even as I am not of the world. We have been chosen by God, redeemed by the Son, regenerated by the Spirit, and separated to belong to God alone. To be sanctified has the twofold concept of cleansing and ownership. We are set apart, belonging to God alone, and we are cleansed so that we can draw near to him. You see, it is his word that liberates us from sin's power from sin's corruption, from sin's defilement. It is his word that can and does liberate us 
from past sinful habits. It's the Word that changes us from sinful thought patterns and attitudes. It's the Word that changes us from our sinful perspectives and our sinful reactions. It's the Word that lifts us out of our sinful ruts, and there is no power greater than the power of God's Word. And God said, and it was so. So let's fill our minds and hearts with that Word and walk in liberty and holiness. Lord, sanctify us through your truth. Your Word is truth. Deliver us from enslavement to lies, and lead us in the life-liberating word, your word, we ask in the name of him who is the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for joining us in our time in the word today. 